Hello again, year sixes. Um, so over the next couple of days, you're going to be looking at patterns, all right? Um, and there's some important vocabulary to just have a look at before we start. There's these three beautiful maths words here, translating, rotating, and reflecting, all right? Um, and we've used those um, last half term. Hopefully, if you did some of the work, that we did some coordinates work where we were doing some of these things. We were translating, rotating, and reflecting. Translating is where we move something, so it just slides. And sometimes it can slide sideways, sometimes it can slide upwards and downwards, sometimes we translate it both, okay? So that's translation. Um, it's not about turning something French into English or vice versa or whatever other language you might be excited about. There's also rotating, and we know about rotating, it's about moving it uh, around an axis, okay? So we rotate it around something, and we can rotate it 90 degrees, 180 degrees, there's no point rotating it 360 degrees because that just means it comes back to where it was in the, in, in the first place. We can rotate it any number of degrees actually, but normally when we're looking at patterns especially, we're just going to be doing either a quarter turn or a half turn, a 90 or 180 degree turn. I feel a bit weird doing my hands on the video, but we'll go with it anyway. And then there's reflecting, and again we know about reflecting because we've done that in our uh, coordinates work, and that's just where we reflect the shape, so it's here, and then it looks the same as if it's reflected across uh, a line, all right? So we need to think about whether we're doing that horizontally or vertically. And so this week, we're gonna be looking at doing that with patterns. So we're not so worried about shapes on a, on a grid or those sorts of things. We're gonna look at some patterns. So you can see here, here's a grid, and you're gonna have a go at doing this today. I'm excited about some of the cool patterns that you might come up with. It's more of an art task than a maths task today, whisper it, but it might be fun. Um, so you can see, here's a pattern, a very simple, just two, uh, semicircles, really, or bits of circle um, on the corner of the shape there, and these are going to be translated. So we're just going to move the same pattern across each shape and see what we get. So you can see it's not perfect when they've done it because they've done it on a computer, but you can do way better because you're going to be drawing it in your book, hopefully. Um, and you can see each time we do it, we get this interesting pattern occurring it looks quite cool and we can keep going we can move it downwards as well and uh, we can it would be the same if we translated um, the the shape or pattern from here uh, straight down to here it would look exactly the same as if we're translating this one across to the right and so if we carry on on this attractive grid we get really interesting pattern it's kind of cool and we could have used some more colors perhaps we could have um, colored in different bits here or made it look interesting and as we translated it those colors and shapes would have been really interesting to look at okay so you can see there we go so th that's quite an interesting pattern so that's just using translation really simple math this i mean it's not we're not asking you to you know do mad complicated calculations this this week but actually we're asking you to think about this vocabulary and these words especially, and what are you doing, and what happens when we do that with different patterns, all right? And hopefully you can use some interesting geometric patterns rather than just scribbles. Uh, you can make it look quite good. There's also, though, we can reflect the pattern, okay? And so uh, in this um, one, it says here, we're going to reflect it in a vertical line of symmetry, all right? So this is the vertical uh, here, up and down. So we're going to reflect this across. Can you have a think right now as you look at it, what's it going to look like when I reflect it across? Shall we see? Ah, so you can see this one ends up here and this one ends up here. Can you think what is going to occur if I keep doing this, if I reflect it? It's worth thinking what is going to happen. Have a bit of prediction about what's going to come. Let's have a look. So as we come, that's quite interesting. But what's going to be formed if I do that? So if I now, I can actually, I think it says, yeah, great, we can reflect the whole thing, perhaps across a horizontal line of symmetry now. So here's a horizontal line, and there we go. All right, so now we've made quite an interesting pattern. If you think that if we'd, if we'd had interesting colors here, imagine what sort of cool pattern might have occurred. All right, and we can reflect it again, and we could do that again and again, and again, and we could go on and we could make some beautiful tessellated tiled pattern or who knows what you might create today. So your challenge today is actually going to be to make some interesting patterns. You're probably going to need to use your book, all right? Uh, if you have printed off the sheets, you could use that, but you'll need to use the squares in your book. Um, 
and have a go at making some interesting and beautiful patterns. I wish you very good luck. And it'd be great if you could actually show us. You could take a picture, send it to us, or even you could video yourself doing your pattern and work out how to share that with us. We would be really excited to see some of your cool patterns and make them look amazing, add some color, add some interesting things, but make sure that they are mathematical in their symmetry or in their translation or in the rotation, okay? We haven't actually done rotation. I think it says here, it would be the same if we were to rotate it. So that often is the case where we reflect and rotate, but not always. So think about the different patterns that you're doing. We might find that there's some patterns where if you rotate it, if you span it around like that, then it might look quite different and interesting, all right? But decide at the beginning what you think it's gonna look like and see if you can use translation, rotation or reflection to make some fantastic patterns. I look forward to seeing them. Please do send them to us. We would love to have a look and hopefully see you soon on a Zoom sometime. Bye.